Anyway, that's how the locks work. Um, we are here at the, what is this hotel? This is the Hampton Inn in, uh, it's in Clayton, Missouri, which uh, basically the St. Louis area. This is like the um, second downtown of St. Louis. If you detect fire smoke, call, dial 911. Yeah, um, that's a good just general PSA. Feel to see if the door is hot. Right now, it's not, no, that seems okay right now. Seems kind of okay. Um, but if it was, if there was a fire, this is what you'd do. You would, I guess you'd start here in this room and then you'd go out and you go to any of these exits would seem to do the trick. It's kind of a T-shaped building. If you turn it on the side, it'd be a T, I guess. But if you uh, kept it like this, it's sort of like a weird letter that doesn't exist. It's sort of like a, a line and then something sort of sticking out of it. Um, there's, a, there's a compass. It's, boy, that is uh, not how it it's like upside down compass. I don't know why they did that. It just made the floor plan rotated 90 degrees or 180 degrees. There's uh, two elevators here. You don't need to do any. I know you might need to. I can't remember if you do the card swap in the elevator or not. Lobby's nice though. Uh, they got free breakfast and it's a you know decent decent area down there. Um, so anyway, this is uh, this hotel here in Clayton. It is kind of beige all around, um, fairly beige we're talking, um, and it's a Hampton Inn, so you know, it, it's, I was surprised, uh, surprisingly not, not too bad. If you come in, uh, you got the doorstop over here. Door, it's like just, it's just being a door here. Um, three hinges on it, and there's the back of the door. I was pretty still doing it with the, these like moldings here, so you feel like you're in like uh, you know some European chalet or something. But no moldings up here, so a little inconsistent there with the doors. But then you got it in the closet again, so a little bit here and there. Anyway, the uh, floor here in the main hallway is this sort of weird tile thing. You see the light; it's really got some scuffs on it and whatnot. So I don't know. I only had to clean this last. Um, but, uh, you got a light switch here. What does this turn on? I guess this turns on this light up here. And it gets very bright. Uh, anyway, you have, uh, this kind of f almost full height mirror here that you can back up a few feet from. And it's opposite the closet here, which is a, it's kind of dark really standard closet. You've got a sprinkler head up here. And the closet has, I guess, some extra bedding up there. Uh, and then you've got a bunch of hangers. Although, you have uh, only two pants hangers. The rest are just regular hangers, but they all should do the trick. Uh, you got an iron thing here. Um, and then, uh, let's see, you've got Luggage rack, ironing board. Let me test any of that. That uh, shit of paper there fell down from the the laundry bag in there. I was like, when they give you the laundry bag. I don't know who does laundry at the hotel. I guess if you're staying here long enough, you do laundry at the hotel. Um, hotel it would be dark. Or the closet seems fine. Um, how do you get a dent there? That seems weird. Let's see. So you got this uh, mirror thing. You got then you got this. Uh, what is this? This is like uh, this piece of art here. F D or F O X Fox, Washington Street. I guess this is like a St. Louis picture. Interesting. You're in Cleet. It's a different city, but they give you St. Louis. And then uh, you got this whole TV dresser thing, which is let's see what they have down here. They've got oh, a mini fridge. It's in the mini fridge. Um, not too much. It's not super cold, but it seems to do the trick okay. 
And then we have here just a couple of cabinets. Man, that looks like there's been some water damage there, probably from the fridge. So that's not great. So yeah, definitely um, masks some of the otherwise perfections or apparent perfections this room. Uh, a couple of drawers here, just to in them. Nothing there. And then nothing in that drawer either. Uh, you've got, of course, the TV here. You've got a remote, which I have not tested. That looks like a TV remote. So, uh, channel guide. Travel with purpose. Um, okay, wow. Travel with purpose means to... Uh, the soap is on us. Okay, that, that's like, I don't know. Travel with purpose is about recycling. The soaps will be recycled and distributed to communities in need. Oh, okay. So, um, I guess don't use up your entire soap unless you want people in need to be dirty. Um, let's see. How to print at the business center. Okay. And then a welcome thing. Channel guide here. Let's see, they got, you know, basic channels, it looks like. Decent selection, I guess, you know, standard for a hotel. Looks pretty good, actually, selection. Um, okay, ice bucket back here, clear lid. You got some spots on the ice bucket, that's never a good sign. Not dusty per se, but I would definitely use the bag if you're going to get ice. Uh, a couple of so you have four paper cups here, and then a $5 bottle of Evian. And then, um, okay, so there's all this stuff. And then there is a trash can down here. That didn't come with the trash in it. Um, there's a desk. That is not a, not a very comfortable desk chair. And you got a coffee maker thing. It looks like uh, doesn't, no, I guess you gotta just pour the water in up here, I guess. I guess that's how that works. And then, no, it is missing a piece. Yeah, it's missing a piece to be able to do the actual coffee. So you can't really do coffee in this room. But they still provide the coffee anyway. You get a couple of regulars here, and then, of course, they always give you a couple of decafs, because hotels uh, really think people like decaf coffee. Um, let see if there's any dust up here on top of the TV. Yeah, no, it seems pretty good. What about on top of this uh, art thing over here? That's pretty good, too. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, carpet here, it's sort of brown. It's, it's decent, like, I don't mind this pattern on the carpet. It's sort of, you know, they're to mask dirt. But it looks clean. It looks clean. Might not be, but it looks clean. And looks fairly new, which is good. Here at the desk, uh, you do have a lamp we didn't have turned on, so that's nice. We have this uh, very interesting circular mirror. And then uh, you got a few outlet things here. These couple outlets and USBs. And then a couple more outlets. No, those aren't outlets, I guess. They're just the two. Oh, then you get one over here. Um, and you get some more cups. Lots of cups here in the room. It's good. And then a bunch of like sugary stuff. So coffee less healthy. And the desk that has some nicks on it. Um, you know, room looks good generally, but then you look a little closer and it's got a few nicks here and there. Um, this is the air conditioner thing. And, oh, let's, oh, you got filters. It seem pretty clean, actually, which is good. I love this one. Uh, that one's not quite as clean, but okay. Uh, the unit is controlled by the wall-mounted thermostat, so the scavenger hunt commences here. And you have a thermostat over here. 
and it is, let's see, it's 74 degrees right now. You can adjust that. How high does this go? 75, 80, 80, 90, okay. And then you can go down to as low as, boy, you can get very cold here. Wow, 45. It keeps the room at 45 in a hotel. It seems awfully cold. Okay, um, and then I guess you can adjust it and stuff. So, yeah, a little wall mounted thing. And then you've got a table over here that of course goes with the armchair, which I have not sat in. And it seems to be occupied right now by, by a jacket. Kind of ugly pillow. Yeah, it's not, not, a, not a pretty pillow. This lamp, bright, don't stare into the sun, I guess. But it works. And I appreciate that all the lamps have these switches. Now, what is going on there? That's not a good look. Uh, the window, you've got like a couple of layers of curtain here, outer curtain, and curtain. And then, this is uh, quite the patio down here. There's no pool, but they have like pool chairs. Some chairs that tipped over. It was pretty windy here. That was because of the wind. And then you've got the tables, so nobody's out there right now because it's really cold. And then you've got like HVAC stuff over there. And then I don't know what that other building is, but I don't know. It's not like the most glamorous outdoor patio seating area there because I don't know, like maybe if the, the, the weather's nice, it's okay. But it's still like you're sitting back by the HVAC equipment and not looking at anything and there's no pool. And uh, well, I guess they have these wires strung with lights overhead and that's a pretty good deal. So maybe it's okay. Another outlet. Sneak around down there, so you have like one, two, near the desk, one there, one there, oh, it's one there, one there, one, two, three, four, five, okay, over here, that's pretty good. Um, so five in the desk area, I guess. The armchair, again, you know, seems fine. Probably not all that, actually, yeah, that's not, that doesn't feel super comfortable. That didn't have the resistance that I thought it would. It has, has some give. Uh, and then you have a... Uh, very expensive piece of modern art here. Uh, it looks like it was painted by Mondrian and um, probably is quite valuable. <sighs> or not. Um, any dust up here? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. It seems, seems like they've done their they've done their high dusting here in the room. There is a little bit of uh, water damage around the ceiling in the room, which is not a great thing. Um, when you're in a hotel room to see stuff like that up in the corner there hopefully you can see that you do have a couple different shades of beige here uh, this beige then turns into this brown here over the bed the bed what is this is this a king size is this a queen size single queen king um, I don't know can't, can't tell the it's probably a king yeah probably a king I would guess um, seemed fine. I didn't notice anything really about it as a bed. Didn't seem particularly comfortable, but didn't seem to have any problems with it either. And then these uh, kind of egg-shaped indentation things that kind of, for no reason, are shaped like that. And then a headboard that is attached to the wall. You get a phone here. Um, Yeah, got the dial tone. Can you hear the dial tone? Man, that's a dirty phone. Don't put that right up to your ear. Oh no, now it's now it's really dinging at us. It's an antibacterial phone for some reason. A couple outlets hiding back there, and then one here more here or no, two more here on the lamp thing which also has the same kind of switch, which is nice. Um, so we have four outlets there on that night table. That's, that's a pretty good deal. A little bit of dust back here. Uh, not a fan of seeing dust like that. That's kind of ugly looking dust too. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got a night table drawer here with nothing in it. And let's see what's on the other side. Another night table. 
um, and put in this drawer. So just some scraps, no Bibles or anything. So you just gotta deal with the ramifications of that on your eternal soul, I suppose. Um, but we've got one, two, three, well, it's kind of you being used by the alarm clock here. You only really have two outlets over here. Um, some more dust back in the corner here. Yeah, they got to dust behind the bed a little bit more. Lamp seems to work okay, though. And the, I don't know, the alarm clock actually does alarm stuff. The time seems to be, well, I don't know if that's correct or not, but it says the time. I would guess you probably have a little bit of dirt back there, a little bit of dust back in the corner, because I don't think they're sitting the vacuum cleaner back into the corner there. This set of outlets here is nice to have, but it is popping out of the wall. The art here is for, see, I think that's actually just a single piece of art, and they just like popped a, an art mat over it that is designed for four pieces of art, but actually is only one piece of art, so that's a little lazy. But we got more eggs, lots of eggs. We got like boxes over there, and then eggs over here, and then a circle over here. What are they trying to convey to us? Some waves over there. Lots of eggs. Yeah, no, no dust up there on top of the art. Okay, we went to the closet. There's some wallpaper here, like uh, kind of stuccoy wallpaper. It's like here, different shade of beige, third shade of beige. And then the bathroom has, uh, you know, a door, some hinges, and then there's a sink. Under the sink, there is a hair dryer and some toilet paper. And you got a light switch here, which I assume turns on lights. Oh, you still have the night, night lights, kind of nice. Um, and then you've got, let's see, a soap. You've got a conditioner, you've got body lotion. We're missing a shampoo. But no, we have the shampoo because I showered with the shampoo. experience in the shower, you know, using shampoo and stuff. Uh, then you got the sink and it turns on, it turns off, which is what it's supposed to do. You got a soap dish for the soap and then some tissues over here and then another light thing over here and a uh, picture of a mirror here, which just being a big mirror seems to work. And then you got a little Trash waste basket thing over here. Uh, no, this is like a liner. It was like a lid on the waste basket. Uh, toilet seems to be fine. Don't notice any issues with it. Seems to flush okay. Uh, looks like the top doesn't quite fit right, but maybe that's just how it's put on there. Uh, pretty good coverage on the towels here. One, two, three, four big towels. Uh, three hand towels, four little hand towels, and then one extra towel over here. So pretty good coverage there. Two more outlets in the bathroom. Uh, and about three more outlets in the bathroom. So if you want to like, uh, you know, run like a, you know, charge your car or something, you can do that here in the bathroom. Um, extra toilet paper up there is good and, you know, you never have too much. And then you get the shower, which uh, I'm supposed to kind of wet. Shower curtain, well, it's one of these bow shower curtain. Never, never really a big fan of that, but uh, that's okay. Shampoo over there, and let's see the water is proof the shower is turned on. The uh, spray from the shower nozzle is not particularly good. It's kind of a not real satisfactory shower, actually. Uh, little soap tray over there. I guess you could take a bath if you wanted to. I don't know why you do that in a hotel, but I guess if you needed to take a bath, you could. If you were your kids, uh, you know, like a bath party with uh, you know rubber ducks and stuff. But the floor of the shower is kind of gnarly looking, so maybe I wouldn't recommend it. Um, temperature wise seems to be okay. You can sort of modify that and it seems to get hot water and everything. You got a little hook there, I guess for your towel, if you want to use it. And then, yeah, you got a shower mat. Uh, otherwise the tiling in the bathroom is the same as in the front hall. So the bathroom seems functional. Um, I would say the Hampton Inn gives you a, like a pretty good, like all the stuff you need, they do a pretty good job providing just the basic stuff you need uh, pretty well. And the room is 
you know, decently large, I guess. You got the bed and sort of a little sitting area over here. The window is tiny. <coughs> That's not great. Um, I don't like the five dollar uh, Evian. That's not not great. Otherwise, um, yeah, I mean it's a it's a it's a hotel room. Corners a little, you know, have a little bit of stuff going on. Oh, and then um, yeah, green green wallpaper here in the bathroom. I just do blue wallpaper in the bathroom. It never seems to work out super well because you get the water seeping in underneath, and that's not great. Uh, interesting shadow action there on the ceiling, which otherwise is just a plain white ceiling. So that's probably about it. A little bit of uh, yeah, dirt and dust down. It, it, like the dust in the easy places, but not in the hard places. I don't understand it. They spent all the time on the high dusting, but not the low dusting. So, anyway, this is, man, that is a very small print. I can't even get to focus on that print. It's so small. There we go. Yeah, but, like, it's much smaller than this print. I don't know. How much time do you spend reading the back of the door of a hotel room? You can learn some valuable things. Okay, anyway, well, this is um, this hotel room here in again, Clayton, Missouri, where this Hampton Inn is located. So, anyway, that is the room, and hope you have uh, enjoyed your experience in it.